Hi, I'm Leanne Robes, and I'm here to talk about the Samsung Galaxy Z series. I want to use this episode to address some common worries that people have asked me. Can you see the fold line in the middle? Well, as you can see, you can barely see the line when opening up. Especially when it is in video mode, to me, the fold line becomes barely visible. Since it's a fold phone, will it break easily from the constant opening and closing of the phone? I've had the Fold 3 now for more than 5 months and the Fold 2 for more than a year, and I haven't had any issues. In fact, the Fold 3 and the Flip 3 are guaranteed to last up to 200,000 times of folding and unfolding according to Samsung's reliability standard. The hinge comes in so handy during photo taking. We can even show camera previews on both the main and the cover display so people can see how they look when they're posing for photos. And this upgrades their selfie or weepy game. It's also extremely useful for video conferencing calls or when I want to watch videos on the go and I don't want to hold it. Will the glass break easily since Samsung is the first to have a fully foldable glass? With the Gorilla Glass Victus and Armor Aluminium body, the Fold 3 has an improved strength of 32% and is 10% more durable than the previous version. Meanwhile, the Flip 3 has an improved strength of up to 13% and it's 10% more durable compared to the previous version. I've had mine now for 5 months and as you can see, barely a scratch on it. This is something I look for in a phone because I need a phone that can withstand being in my bag and sometimes being knocked around and still look great and work well. With multiple screens, does battery life drain fast? The Galaxy Z Fold 3 5G has a 4,400 milliamp battery while the Galaxy Z Flip 3 has a 3,300 milliamp battery. The phones adjust power usage to your mobile habits and keeps it going through the day. You can boost up with 25 watt fast charging or fast wireless charging. This is really useful as I can use my phone through the day without needing to charge it halfway. And then at the end of the day, I just plug it in and with my fast charger, I can charge my full 3 fully in around 1 hour and 30 minutes. Can you smoothly and quickly open and shut the phone with one hand? Well, let's put it to the test for both phones. Let's start with the Flip 3. As you can see, it's really easy to open and close the phone. Okay, now with the Fold 3. It's a little bit trickier because it's so big, so opening is not really possible. But closing, I find really easy with just one hand. And I don't have very big hands, so I don't find this much of an issue. When I'm rushing off somewhere, it's so easy to just grab my phone and go. We have come to the end of the series with Samsung, and I hope that you found this informative. If you've missed the previous episode, do check them out on the playlist.